driving five miles, count them, five miles in order to go to Burger King. Why? Because they have a new product that's available to me, and that new product is something that I haven't tried before. What's the new product? The new product is the Impossible Burger. Impossible, yes, impossible to get people to go to Burger King. So they had to figure out a trick in order to get back on people's radar screens again. what they do? They introduced the Impossible Burger as a way to get people to notice Burger King and then promote the heck out of it to get people like me to go five miles out of their way in order to try the Impossible Burger. All right, here we are pulling up to get an Impossible Burger. Oh, shit. I pulled into McDonald's. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying for the Impossible Burger, but that's not here. Is that correct? This is that's a McDonald's. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right. After a slight detour going to McDonald's, I'm now at Burger King. Let's check this thing out and order us up a uh, an Impossible Burger. See how this thing goes, man. Let's see what the experience is like, too. Hello, you there? Hey, are you guys there? Wow. Hey, I drove five miles to get an Impossible Burger, and now you're not answering this thing. Literally, I drove five miles. Wow. I drove five miles to get an Impossible Burger. Five miles. And they're not even answering the, the thing. Dudes. You lost the customer. Wow. Holy sh**. Hey, what's up with that? Are you are you answering the thing? You go, go ahead. It's okay. Can you open? I got a question for you. I sat there for like five minutes waiting and asking if anybody was there. I wanted to get an Impossible Burger. Why weren't you answering me? I was saying hello, hello. Are you there? Did you hear me? Can I get an Impossible Burger? I'll pay for it. I'm not gonna charge you for it because I didn't hear you. Okay. All right. I'll I'll, I'll tell you what. Okay. Thanks. Cheese, please. All right, she's making up for it. She's making up for it. This has been a journey. I, I, don't, I don't know what just happened. I literally don't know. I mean, I don't know if she really didn't hear me or she's just saying she didn't hear me. Awesome. Is the, is the thing broken? No, what happened was she was dealing with the customer in front of you. That's what was a hold on. Oh, I, I mean, I was literally, just so you know, I was literally there for like three or four minutes because I was watching because I was going, wow, because I drove five miles for this. And then and then I kept saying, are you there? Are you there? So, yeah, she was dealing with the customer in front of you. That's all that was. Okay, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Back. See you. Bye. Bye. All right, here we go. Yes, I'm driving with my knee. Yes, I know. I'm not supposed to be. Just, you know, whatever. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I literally cannot tell the difference. This burger is awesome. And I'm not kidding you, that is a good burger. I am gonna get an Impossible Burger every time now. And I'll even pay for the next one. So, what are the lessons we learned here? Lesson number one, if you have something new for your product or service, that can get people's attention. The second lesson is you have to amplify what it is new about your product or service. The other lesson, the third lesson was customer service is critical. The fourth lesson is you can recover from bad customer service by going over the top. I think this Impossible Burger for Burger King is gonna be a game changer for them. Not a game changer, but it's gonna be something that's gonna get them back on people's radar screens, which Burger King desperately needs. My name is Jamie Turner. This has been In 60. If you like what you heard today, subscribe down below. Be sure to hit the bell so when you hit the bell, the bell will notify you next time I upload something like this. This has been In 60 with Jamie Turner, and I'll catch you next time.